Hi, my name is Natalia and I work in marketing here at Callfire. Callfire is a service that enables a lot of businesses to do marketing through SMS and voice broadcasts, through call tracking, uh, through surveys. Something else that we do here in marketing is we work a lot with AdWords and Ad Center. So we thought that we would share some of the things that we have learned in that process since we do believe that it's important to empower all our customers to be as good as marketing as they can be. So what I've been doing lately is I've been transferring some of our marketing campaigns from Google AdWords into Microsoft Ad Center, which is basically the Bing pay-per-click search engine. So I have a few things that I have learned along the way that I wanted to share, as well as share the best way that I think to go about doing this. So from uh, an eMarketer statistical survey in, in this past October, we know that Google has about 67% of the US online search, Microsoft has about 14%. So you can see there's a big difference there. That means that your clicks will be a lot less expensive on Microsoft. So when you're transferring campaigns, keep in mind that you can probably be paying about a quarter per click on Microsoft as what you are paying on Google. That means when you're first transferring your campaigns, definitely make sure to change what your maximum bids are because they should be probably about a quarter of what they are in Google, if not less. Some basic similarities and differences that I've learned either from my experience or from online research is that the bidding system is the same. Uh, you're basically paying one cent more than the next highest bidder, assuming that all other factors are equal. So things like click-through rates and relevancy scores. However, Ad Center is prepay only. So on AdWords, you have the option to receive invoices, but on Ad Center, you have to charge your account before you begin your campaigns. You can also set it to actually automatically charge your credit card when your account gets slow, um, but everything has to be prepaid. Something else that's different is that AdWords will let you either rotate your ads or optimize your ads. What that means is sometimes for the same keyword, you can have four different ads that you're running against each other. Most people will set those ads to automatically optimize, so AdWords will run the ad that does better more often. Ad Center will do that automatically, so it won't let you have any other option than to optimize by click-through rate. AdWords, however, lets you rotate them evenly. And so you might ask, well, why would I do that anyway? The thing is, sometimes we want to run two ads against each other, and we actually want to get numbers on which ones are being clicked more often if they're run at the same rate, just because you want to see that, for example, this part of the ad is the only part that's different, and that part of the ad is then causing this percent drop in click-through rate. It's just something that's for your own numbers. It's good to have. Uh, something else, Ad Center does not currently support image or video ads. Pretty self-explanatory. So the different match types. And this is something that you really do have to think about a little bit when you're doing this. Both engines have broad match. Modified broad match is something AdWords did recently and Ad Center does not have it. Um, I'll talk about modified broad in more detail later, but it's something to keep in mind that if you're learning how to use modified broad match in AdWords, this isn't something you're going to be able to do in Ad Center, and it's something you're going to have to compensate for. Both have phrase match, both have exact match. There's a big difference in negative match. Now, um, AdWords calls us negatives, Ad Center occasionally calls us exclusions, but Ad Center only has negative phrase match. So everything is listed as a phrase. It doesn't have exact phrase match, and that can be a big problem in the future. And I'll talk about this later on in the presentation when I talk about transferring your campaigns. Not having a ne negative exact match can really mess up your campaigns if you don't know that there's that difference. Another quick thing is Ad Center has keyword normalization, so it will automatically ignore common conjunctions and prepositions. So it's like a, an, what, with. So for example, if you have a phrase called what is, both of those words are going to be thrown out because they are noise words. And that's something to keep in mind both for negative match, for positive match. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in terms of when it comes to negative phrase match later on. There's a small difference in the ad structure as well, and you might think it's completely irrelevant, but it does come up. The title length is the same. The display URL length is pretty much the same. Destination URL is the same. The difference is that AdWords splits your text, um, your line one, line two, into two lines. Ad Center combines those two. It just counts as one line that wraps around to the second line. You'll see the difference in those when I show you a picture of the two later, but it's something to keep in mind because visually your ads could look very different depending on what you do with those.
So a quick run through of what I think is the best way to transfer your existing campaigns from AdWords into Ad Center because you do not want to create them from scratch all over again. So if you go into AdWords editor, which anyone using AdWords should have on their computer, make sure you get your recent changes. So as you can see on here, you can get your recent changes by going to file, get recent changes, just do the basic one and download all recent changes from online just in case you've done anything on there lately that you haven't captured in the editor. Then you go back into file and you click on file, you go to export spreadsheet and you export selected campaigns and ad groups. Then you'll have a pop-up that'll let you choose from all the campaigns and ad groups that you have and you can select the ones you want to export and then you can save them as a CSV file on your desktop for example. And once you've saved those you're going to do one of two things. If you are not using Ad Center desktop and are not planning to, which I would not recommend, but it is possible. You want to open Excel, and you want to open those files in Excel that you just saved. And under the max cost per click column, you want to change those costs per click to a much lower price. And you're just going to scroll down, and anytime you see a number, change it to a quarter of the original number. The reason you want to do that in Excel before you upload the file is because if you're using just the browser version of Ad Center, you're not going to be able to change all your campaigns at the same time. You're going to have to go through each ad group and change the maximum cost per click separately there. So this is just something that's simplifying the process if you're not using the desktop. But I do suggest using Ad Center desktop. So then you go into Microsoft Ad Center in whatever browser you're using. Apparently it's not supported on Chrome, although it does work in my experience, more or less. This does not work on a Mac. So you'll be able to actually open all of this up, but once you go to import campaigns, you're going to get an error every time you try to upload a campaign from a Mac. So just switch to a PC, save yourself the trouble. I tried to do this on a Mac many times, I called support, finally just switch to a PC. So when you click on import campaigns, you'll be able to go through the process of importing all the CSV files that you saved with editor. Once you do that, you can do one of two things. Change the settings for each campaign. You either want to go to your campaign tab in Ad Center and change settings and make sure that your country data is still the same. So which countries you want to be advertising in which devices you want to be on. So for example, mobile devices might be enabled or might not be. And negative keywords. The other option, and the option I prefer, is to just as soon as you upload everything, go ahead and download Ad Center Desktop and work with everything from there. Ad Center Desktop looks like this. It's kind of a different version of Outlook just used for Ad Center. And so what you do in Ad Center is as soon as you open the desktop, you want to go and do the same thing as you do in Editor and you want to sync changes. Um, so this is basically the same thing as downloading any changes that have been made in AdWords online. This will download any changes that have been made in Ad Center online. So you download the changes only. You're not syncing anything because at this point, hopefully you haven't done anything yet. This is also only available for PC. There is no Mac client. So again, just be on a PC for this. Once you download the changes, you'll be able to select any of your campaigns on the left here and right click on those and go to properties. Once you go to properties, you'll be able to edit things like display networks, like what countries you're advertising in, things like that. So for example, right here, so you'll have devices, which is where they want to be in mobile devices or laptops and desktops, demographics, times of day, locations, things like that. Probably the most important thing here is exclusions. Exclusions means the same thing as negative keywords. Now this is a big issue because for example, something that AdWords just rolled out with is account negatives. So as you can see on the left here, this is from our uh, online AdWords campaign and we have a negative keyword list. It's a pretty long list. We have actually a lot more keywords in this list. None of those words actually show up originally in Ad Center Desktop just because it does not have account negatives. It has campaign negatives. So you're just going to have to add those account negatives to all of the campaigns. On the bright side, you can actually just shift select all of your campaigns at once, edit properties for all of them at once, and type in all of those negatives and add them to all the campaigns at once. But make sure you do keep track of the fact that account negatives still need to be transferred. Another thing that we talked about is exact negatives. So the issue here is that you might have an exact negative like 
phone in AdWords. And that means you don't want someone searching for phone, just the word phone, to actually find your website because it's not specific enough for someone to actually get any use of it. Uh, the problem is once you transfer that as a file from AdWords into Ad Center, it'll convert to a phrase match automatically because there's no exact phrase match. This means that anyone with the word phone in their whole query will not find your website. So even if they are looking for whatever is relevant to your particular website, like phone survey, for example, for us, if somebody searched for phone survey, but phone was a phrase negative for us, they would not find our website and you'd be getting zero clicks and click through rate and wondering what's happening, which is exactly what happened to us. Now something else that happened to us is you see there that we have a campaign negative called what is. That's fine, it's gonna be completely irrelevant just because what and is are both noise words. The problem is we also as a negative had something like what is called tracking. Now if you type in something like what is called tracking as an exact phrase match in AdWords and that transfers as a regular phrase negative into Ad Center, that means that what and is are both thrown out as noise words and you're left with call tracking as your negative phrase match for call tracking the search keyword. So it sort of cancels each other out. People, you want people to find you using call tracking, but because you had what is call tracking as a negative phrase match, no one can find you when they type in call tracking. It's a really big problem and something we ran into after calling our rep. So definitely make sure that you look for noise words in your negatives and you look for things that used to be exact phrase matches and should not be. Another thing that we talked about briefly is modified broad match. And modified broad match in AdWords looks like this. You're gonna have a plus sign before a word. That just means okay. that this whole thing is the broad match, but the word with the plus sign in front of it has to be there. So that word is necessary for your search. And this works really well in AdWords. However, when it transfers to Ad Center, we'll still have the plus in it, but the engine won't really recognize what that is. So make sure that when you transfer these into Ad Center, you don't go back into Ad Center Desktop and replace these either with phrase match or broad match. Um, either one is fine. We prefer phrase match, but it really depends on uh, what your costs are. And this is the difference that I was talking about in ad structure. This is, thing on the left is from Ad Center Desktop, and the bottom right is from AdWords Editor. And as you can see, in Ad Center, the text will just wrap around and it'll create its own breaking point. You don't have really a choice where you want to break up the text. So for example, you wanted your first line to be really long and your second line really short. You can't really do that here like you can do it in AdWords because in AdWords you select exactly what you want on the first line and exactly what you want on the second line. This might create weird breaks in your ads once you transfer the ads. So definitely make sure just to scroll through all your ads, make sure they still look right and make sure that they don't exceed the limit. It'll tell you if it does, but for some reason this sometimes will have you exceeding the limit just because of the weird page break it puts in. And then once you're done editing all of that in Ad Center Desktop, once you've changed all your bids, once you've changed all the preferences, you just click Sync Changes to make sure that you upload these changes online into Ad Center, just like you would do with AdWords Editor. So just a quick recap. Don't try to do this on a Mac. You've realized the five times we've mentioned this already. It's really difficult, it gets too impossible, so just bring in a laptop if you need to. Do download Ad Center Desktop. It definitely helps a lot. It's kind of the same thing as with AdWords Editor. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do simultaneously and a lot of things you can do a lot quicker. Make sure you recheck all your settings so that all your demographic settings, device settings, all of that is um, transferred correctly in terms of the campaign. Change your bids. So because Bing is a much smaller um, percentage of US search, do make sure that your bids are a lot lower. You don't need to be paying the same thing you're paying for Google. Keep track of all your negatives, and I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that your account negatives transfer. You're gonna have to do this manually. Make sure that noise words aren't messing anything up for you. Do not use things like what is blank. Be aware there's no exact match, so anything that you had as an exact match in AdWords, make sure that that's not going to cause problems if it's made into a phrase match. And make sure that modified keywords are covered by another type of keyword. So either make a phrase match or exact match in Ad Center that is the equivalent of the modified broad match that you had in Google. And then make sure you just recheck the appearance of all your ads, scroll through all the ads, make sure that the breaks and the lines are functioning.
perfectly fine and that nothing looks like it's off. So thank you for watching. Again, I'm Natalia and I work for Call Fire. Check out our website at callfire.com. A lot of the stuff that we write will be on our blog at callfire.com slash blog. And you can also follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching.